takes place uh, more than 10 years after the events of Crackdown 2. Agencies thrust back into action after this large global scale attack. That attack is tracked back to a new island called New Providence. Um, the agency knows very little about this island. They only know that it's controlled and operated by an organization that calls itself Terra Nova. So the agency comes rocking up. They expect to be the saviors. They come in with that agency style hubris and uh, it doesn't quite go the way they expected. Nice. So players are released into the city and your goal is to dismantle Terra Nova in any way you can. Great, and we're seeing some gameplay on screen yeah. here. So talk us through this a little bit. We're seeing these amazing crackdown weapons that we know and love, this verticality jumping all over the place. Talk us through this. Yeah, so uh, what you're seeing here is we're fighting over a monorail station. So the, the hierarchy, the criminal empire in Crackdown 3, every crime boss has a, a part of the world that they own, a job, some part of the organization that they're responsible for. So I just took out the monorail station. That's now turned that into a supply point for us. And now I'm moving on, and this is an enforcer hard point. So the enforcer uh, is essentially the, the police force of the, of the organization of the island. And so here, they, this is a holding pen for uh, you know, political, political captives and other civilians. Yeah. And you come in and free them, and then we're going to move on down. And so you'll see, too, as you level up, you have all your five skills along the left. That's our skills for kills system. Right. That's this crazy exponential power curve. So at the beginning of the game, you know, you're throwing rocks. But as you level up your strength, suddenly you're throwing fuel trucks. Um, and everything you do is about orbs. So you, and Crackdown is all about verticality. Thank you for bringing the orbs back. <laughs> oh, I just want to say, on of behalf course. of the entire, everyone who's ever played Crackdown before, <laughs> thank you. I look forward to stressing out about finding out. Exactly. Hey, I've, got ways here, to earn them. I've got a note here that you're going to reveal the gang's bite back system and the Don't kingpin feedback as well. Can we talk yes. about that? So the gang's bite back system is all about how that criminal empire reacts to what the player does. Like I said, every part of the city, uh, so you got this great kind of digital signage, and that is the way for the you know the captains, the lieutenants, they're going to come and find you where you are, and they're going to threaten you right to your face using that signage. So uh, essentially, they can find you no matter what point in the game you are and start to issue you those threats. And it's really kind of surprising in your gameplay. But yeah, they are mad, and they're letting you know, and they're using the city to tell you and talk to you personally. That's great. Yeah. So you're never safe in Crackdown. But of course, you've got a wide range of amazing hey, agency you. weaponry yeah. to take care of those gang bosses. Tell us about some of the weapons in the game. Yeah, so let Clint talk about his favorite favorite weapon. <laughs> All right. He's got some good ones. So one of my favorites is we call the Singularity Weapon. And you'll see it a bit in the video here in a minute. Um, this weapon, everything in Crackdown is physical. Uh, you know, you can pick up cars and throw them. If you pound lamp posts, they turn into weapons. Well, the Singularity Weapon pulls everything in. So you fire it, it creates a black hole. It sucks in cars and enemies and props, combines them, and then blows everything up. And because yeah, Crackdown has this crazy exponential curve, and, every, and that combined with everything being physical, that gun ends up having hilarious and amazing results. Yeah. Me, I'm more of a strength person, Graham. Clearly. I clearly, can't you tell? <laughs> and I, I love the idea of throwing trucks dumpsters at people like that's how I'm gonna play <laughs> if I'm gonna basically just throw my stuff at everybody all right because like the, the agent himself or herself, or herself is a weapon right that's right yeah, everything so. is a weapon Indeed, that's the world of crackdown